All right, so, so what do you have for us, Jasper? Uh, there's quite a lot, actually, MT. Um, I noticed with a few members, new members in the room, uh, I'd like to do a bit on, you know, for them. Uh, uh, then I want to talk a bit about the long terms, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, you know, we'll get some triple kisses in so I can discuss that with um, the members. But uh, I need to, okay. I need to come and dare the chat a minute, guys, if you don't mind, just for a couple of minutes. Um, I need to find out if there's any newbies in the room. It's, it's perfectly, uh, it's perfect to do it now because I can, I can give them homework, you see, over the weekend. All right, so is there any newbies in the room? I know there's one in yesterday called Emma, and I think there's somebody called Jesse in. Right, right, so there, there is quite a few. Okay, um, right, guys. Um, MT, can you give them the link for the uh, YouTube channel, please, when you get a moment? Okay, MT is going to put a link up now, guys, and there are videos on it that you need to to watch to understand this properly you need to watch at least two or three videos and I'm going to give you a list of those videos now okay they're not long videos but the only way you're going to learn is if you know what's actually going on in the room you know how the, the system works and um, you, you know the videos can be found on that site there alright so the first one is the momentum video that will show you how momentum works alright the second one is called trend and bias. Right, this will give you an idea of how to work, find a bias, how to uh, understand what a trend is and the strength of a trend. Okay. And the third one, if you're looking for the easiest um, strategy, I think Ghost has just redone it. So if you want to look at that one, the five minute pinks, um, and, and start with that. Okay. Um, if you do that over the weekend, I mean the videos are not long guys, and the sooner you learn, you know, um, how it works in here, the sooner you can crack on and start earning money. Alright? Right, uh, I said I wanted to talk about the long terms guys. Um, and basically, I know everyone's been having, you know, quite a bit of success with these really. Um, now, there are some ways, and I need to try and explain to you how I kind of trade them. Now I can't pull the charts up in the room, so if, it's up to you if you want to put, you know, the charts up that I mentioned now uh, from MT's charts. Uh, if you pull up yesterday's, um, the twentieth, July the twentieth a.m. Just something I want to show you there on the EU. For those of you that are doing this, just let me know so I know I'm, I'm kind of up to. Okay, Benny's got it up, right. Right, okay. Now, if you look at the EU, guys, you'll see the weekly is still up. Uh, just hang on, let me get the right one on. <laughs> I've got the wrong chart on. Right, you'll see that the weekly is still up. You'll see uh, a red-pink on the weekly and a big uptrend okay now what I see what gets me alert to you know that trade going back up again if you look on the daily just above the EU look what's happened with the reversals each time there's been a reversal it's come down and it's hit the orange MA then reacted and gone up again now that as you can see quite clearly on there has happened three times on the EU all right now, if you look where the last candle is, it's touching the orange MA again. The one with the, the pink arrow above it, it's touching the orange MA again. Right Now, if you look at the time, that was half past eight, that was half an hour before the session opened yesterday. Okay? So, basically, what we were looking, what I was looking for, I knew there was a good chance that the EU would go up yesterday, uh, based on that, because it was going to bounce off the MA. Okay, off the red, off the orange MA. At some point yesterday, we got a daily up. That pink that you see there disappeared, and we got a daily um, pink red up. And guys, that went up 114 pips in the session, basically in the session. So basically, what I'm trying to tell you is that this kind of MA kiss this alerts me to 
the possibility that the, the trend could continue. You still need that daily signal, you know, in the um, that we got in the room, right? Um, um, or if, if you're not in the room at the time, you have to then use revert to the momentum um, that I actually explained in the video that I did. You, you revert to that way of looking. But if you get the signal, like we were in the room yesterday, then that was a great uptrade. That was under under nod pips. You know, but basically, what I'm trying to explain is that I do exactly what I do in the room on the short term, right? I've just transferred that strategy over to the long term. You understand? Yesterday, I made a killing by doing what we call the golden road trades, right? Um, because everything was trending up and down. Every time it came near the orange line, it reacted okay every single time and that's how I made my money yesterday all right but that system applies to the long term as well as you can quite clearly see there on the EU all right now if you just flip to the uh, July the 20th p.m. chart you'll see what I mean on the EU just just look at that arrow it, it, it was a pink down and look at it now it's a pink red up and it went it just flew up you see okay just another point on that if you flip back again to the uh, AM chart if you look at the UCAD daily now that's a big downtrend but look on the UCAD daily it's happened again there look it's hit the orange line and every time it's come back up to it it's gone down you know it's just MA kisses but on a longer time frame you understand this is all you look for. That is the first thing I look for on the long-term charts. So you all get that. You all you all happy with that? How how that? You know how I use that? Yeah. Okay. All right, lads uh, and ladies. By the way, sorry. Um, right. The other point I want to make on this um, is stacking. Now I stack to maximize um, profits okay again I'll just show you on that um, same chart again the July the 20th a.m. if you look at the GBP Swissy which is the GBP CHF I should say um, you'll see it's got a weekly down and you'll see there was a daily down four days back okay now I took that trade twice on the second candle you see the one the candle after the one with the pink on the daily I took it twice why did I take it twice um, as I say to maximize profit how did I maximize profit well basically that initial move went down uh, 130 140 pips okay so now I have two trades running at 140 pips so when it started to come against me, I took one trade out, I took some profit, I took 139 pips, okay? So the second trade then was still running, all right? The GBP Swissy, uh, Roman, CHF, GBP CHF, okay? And um, basically what's happened is it's gone against me for a bit, right? But then it started to go again, okay? And it went again, and, and the reason... I stack is not just because um, you know uh, it, it's extra pips but you, your second trade if it's still running from your first trades point right it's risk free there's no risk you're not having to put another 50 pip stop loss in fact I trailed that second uh, trade by 50 pips which meant that I was still 80 80 odd pips if that had a tripped out if my stop loss would have been hit I'd have still made on the second trade 80 odd pips you understand as it happens it went down uh, and I uh, took it out this morning at 201 pips so that one setup which started on Tuesday and Tuesday guys is a day when things happen I don't don't ask me why it just seems to be that way um, was that trade basically that setup was 300 about 340 350 pips now since me 
uh, stop me uh, stop loss was 50 pips that's a one in seven right guys guys I'll tell you now um, a banker in New York London they cut their own arm off and they'd hand it to you for that kind of risk to reward all right so that that's something else to think about when you're trading not taking one take two let one trade run you can't lose the second trade and your risk is is nothing in fact your risk is not risk at all <laughs> it's profit all right the other thing the last point I'll make on this is I think rather than demoing you should do you know maybe 10p a pip uh, 10 cents a pip um, when you look at a 50 pip stop loss at 10 cents a pip you can lose five dollars right <laughs> all right you're not gonna win massive amounts but you know at the end of the the end of the week your confidence is high you might have won 30 40 dollars you you know I've I, I'll be honest with you I've had one trade go against me right since I've been doing this and that was the um, UCAD this week because I looked at it, it had a blue and a pink on the weekly up and I took it on and I went to bed on it it was a few pips up I went to bed on it it was 40 odd pips down I just went still not ready to go up yet okay so I got out and that's the one trade I've lost doing this all right, the weekly signal is the main signal. Right? The dailies are like a reversal if they go against the weekly. So you wait them out and you enter again uh, in the direction of the weekly. All right, and especially if they with a trend like the EU. All right, that, that, that EU trend's been going up since Christmas, by the way. Huge. Yeah, well, Marco, the, the, the thing is, it's all about momentum. If it's with the trend, I will take, um, you, you know, I, I will get in if, if, if a candle's shooting in the direction I want it to, to go. And, and, and here's another thing, right? If you look at each type of trade I've shown you on most of the, um, on, on, on the video, on most of those trades, you will notice that the momentum has virtually gone straight from me. There's hardly any wick against me, right? Which means the, the trade hasn't moved against me at all. You understand? So it's all about time. It's reading momentum when you're not in the room. If you're in the room, it's fine. You'll see signals. You'll see uh, momentum boxes. But if you're not in the room, then you have to learn how to read um, when momentum's coming and the closed candle um, strategy that I mentioned in the video uh, is, is perfect for that guys uh, took the GU down on July the 20th p.m. chart just let me have a look at that mm -hmm. right um, not sure not sure mate um, I personally though if you look at where the weekly is it's touching virtually touching the um, orange line okay and if you look what happens when you know the, um, the candles touch the orange line the orange MA they react alright rooms whenever Benevento at, at the, the the if 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 like yesterday I'm in the room and that daily signal on the uh, EU which you can see there turned up then I took the trade yesterday you understand um, but if it happens that you know I'm not in the room and um, I know the setup's good like the EU was definitely going to go up let's say that happened when the room was closed um, I would look for the the, the system I I describe in the in the video I did, right? Okay, because that's when you recognise that momentum's coming. All right, closed candles are both highs or lows of of the reversal candles. Um, at the, at the moment, uh, Mike, I uh. The, the GU, I, I never like a setup like this, you know, one hour up, four hour down, daily up, which has done nothing, I must admit. None of them are pink, so it, it's like I said yesterday, it could be one of them days where it just goes up 
and down. You know, um, basically, if you're going to trade the GU, then just make sure you you've got like a triple kiss or something, uh, and momentum on your side. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that's what I'm saying, um, Kano. If you know, if the the last chart gives me an idea again it's all to all to do with what the the weekly is the weekly is pointing up but um the daily is just touching the um the, the orange ma okay with a reversal then immediately i'm looking at my own charts and saying right i need momentum to tell me that it's um you know it, it the trend's going to continue so basically what i'm looking for then is the um, system of a closed candle you know above or below the um, high or low of uh, the reversal trade you understand on, on what do you mean John on uh, I'll, I'll get to that in a bit Roman uh, sorry I know yeah Roman what do you mean, John? Just on short term now, or do you mean on the long term? Oh, since MT's been brought the charts out, Jamie. Since we've been having the long term charts. On the long term, I, I, to be honest with you, it's not worth it now. You're talking Friday. Um, I wouldn't you know really leave a trade over the weekend but there's nothing happens over the weekend unless you know let's say Donald Trump got shot or something right there's there's nothing would happen basically the best days and I've noticed this now for quite some time is the the Tuesday trades are setting up nicely um, <coughs> you see the arrows signals on the long terms and that's when you should be thinking again and, and and there's another thing I know Kano was using pending orders a lot. Um, I use buy and sell stop orders a lot because um, they keep you out of dodgy trades but they also you know you could you could go to bed and you could you know your trade could trigger in the night. Some of the trades have triggered in the night because you know the Japanese yeah let's have it right you know if that's doing poor then during the Asian session that's possibly when a trade will trigger. Uh, there's always been um, something about it came over you know uh, Monday and Fridays were, were quiet and I never really understood it until I started doing the long-term trades you know being in the room it's always momentum there's always a trade there for you to take you know but the long terms do seem to be um, Tuesday Wednesday Thursday but again if you want I mean that I'll give you an example where that GBP Swissy is like 350 pips if you took say four trades, three, four trades a week based on the long-term signal weekly plus, you know, what I've just told you about the, the MA bounce, then you're looking at a thousand pips. You know, easy, a thousand pips. You could just take one decent settle. Let's say that all three arrow charts lined up, right, four hour weekly, daily with the trend. You know it's going to go big. You get in. Let's say you took three trades. Okay, right. Monday you make 100 odd pips. Tuesday you make 100 odd pips. Wednesday it's 200 odd pips. Your third trade then is 400 pips. There are pairs that just go and go and go. You know, EJ that gives massive pips. GJ gives massive pips. You know, you, you could just do one perfect setup the week and be set for life. Uh, Vanquish, there is, oh it's 23k isn't it, 23k, hiya mate, you alright, listen there is a video, um, I'm not sure if you've seen it, uh, did you get the link for the video side? <coughs> if not, empty up it up, yeah. No, no Kano, I don't, no, um, I kind of, uh, I, I suppose that is the ultimate really, isn't it, you know, doing the long term, um, and when you look at, you know, the weekly charts, um, I mean, if you look at, if you looked at the UJ now and see what's happened on the weekly there, it's gone up, it's gone up from a red yellow to a pink, then down to another red, straight up again to a red red pink, and and 
imagine if you took, you know, if you, if you actually just took that, did that, you know, that, that's a hell of a lot of pips. Yeah, yeah, mate, I can imagine. Can you imagine? Honestly, I can imagine. Hey, I've just got a dry throat, Benny. <laughs> Need a pint. No, it's been uh, raining the last few days, uh, Jem, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm out tonight, so it's my mate's birthday, so we're going for a few parts, something to eat later on. Uh, on my second trades, I usually do my condo. I'll use um, a trailing stop. Um, they're good. They, they are. It's a good thing to use. I don't use it bother with it on the first trade, but on the second trade, I do. <laughs> On the short terms, uh, right, well, what do you want, like a bias? Well, EU, I said before, is up, uh, and that's proven right. It's the trend the, the trend on the EU, uh, and if you look on the four hour, I think it, the reversal came down and virtually touched the um, uh, orange MA again, so. Is EU blue a mem? Which has is EU blue a mem? Um, on five, no, it's not. A, that's not a mem. No, no. A mem. A mem would be if you look at the GU. Fifteen minutes. GG, that's a mem. Now you, you've got two arrows pointing in the same direction with a candle in between. Uh, what, what on long terms, Mosh? Generally, well, you know what blue pink is. GG, you know a blue pink. I, I've always said that the blue is just an early warning system. But when it gets a pink like that, uh, next to it then yeah and look what's happened it did go up uh, I'm not with you Steve what are your trailing stop numbers I, have you Rhonda have you got the uh, 50 pips, mate, 50 pips. Uh, Rhonda, have you got the, um, the, do you know where to get the long-term charts from, chart shots? Right, okay, if you go on there now, have you got it open? Right, okay, if you go to the July the 20th, right, uh, PM. Let me know when you're there. You can see it. Right, okay. Now look at the EU daily. Right, that's it. Thank you, MT. Right, if you look at the EU daily, look, just look at those uh, reds and the pink there. That's basically what I'm saying. Once, once those reversals, because of that, Weekly, you can see down there, the big pink weekly, right? Those reversals have hit the MA and then gone up each time, and it's happened virtually. In fact, every time there, four times it happened. So basically what I'm saying is I'm waiting them reversals out because of that weekly, okay? So as soon as that week that's done, I am actively looking for arrows up then on the daily chart. And if I get one, that's my entry point, okay? Thanks, MT.
Uh, let's have a look at GU. It's still messy, uh, Raphael. It's uh, you know you four hour. If that disappeared, you know, then I would um, be looking. You know, that GU. It may be that at um, you know in about fifteen minutes that we get some upside to the GU. It may disappear. That that canal canal that is all I do in the room yesterday. Um, on all four pairs, because you had full correlation yesterday, you had GU and EU both going up, and UJ and UCAD both going down, right, that is basically all I do on the um, blue charts, once I've got my story, I think we had three nils all over the show as well on the long term, so basically all I was doing yesterday was when the price kept coming back and hitting the orange line in the direction of the road, I was then entering the trade with momentum. Sometimes I was getting in before because I knew it was going to uh, going to win anyway. That's why I, I've always said those the one and four hour are golden road makers. Well, the orange road rooms is the you see the orange line on all of the charts. That orange line there that MT is pointing out, that that and the yellow line it, it is the road, basically. Okay, that's the road there, you see, and now you can see that the UJ is going down, so basically all I was doing yesterday is when the price action on the UJ was going back, hitting the orange line, it was then going down again, you see. And it's, it's, it's basically an MA kiss, it's something that I've traded well, well over a year now, well over a year and been highly successful at it. Uh, EU, EU two minute. Yeah, with momentum, John Witt, yeah. Yeah, if momentum was, you know, screaming, which obviously was for it to keep going up like that. Right, now, you see the EU now, if you look at that, if nothing appears on the five minute chart, okay and we start getting green momentum that's going to go up again look where it is on the blue chart it's nearly touching the uh, orange line so wait what you wait is you do is you wait for the price action to just touch it or to come back in and then if it starts flashing green momentum then you enter the trade again because there's nothing on the other charts to tell you that it's going to do anything other than go up I know there's a blue above the uh, on the five minute but until there's something next to that then it could still go up now you've got a blue on the 15 so you might get something on the five minute pointing down in a minute in which case you stay out of it until that's played out <laughs> hello julian there you go you see there's the five minute now so you have got you, you're gonna have to wait this one out Uh, no, I take um, sell stop, Oscar, and buy stop. Now you see if that, if you look at the five minute, now if that disappears, then you may have a trade to the upside again on the EU. Okay, but you need the momentum. You can't enter without the momentum because you've just had a reversal. Okay, guys, so you need the momentum to flash green and maybe the DX to flash red. All right? There you go. You see, look, it's disappeared and it's shut up. There's your answer, Roman. <laughs> I love the UC down ammo. Oh yeah, I have for a long time at the moment.
Yeah, I was just thinking that. MT, do you want to put a, a, a tune on and I'll uh, just go and get a brew? Sure, uh, <clears throat> Jazz Fran. That was really, really good. <clears throat> Thank you so much for coming on because th these are little things, guys, that could mean so much to you. So hopefully you're, uh, hope you're listening. Hope you're listening because that, that was valuable stuff there, right there. You know how we trades the long term. So you know either record or listen up because uh, this is gold. This is gold. So a core trading strategy, 23k. My strategy uh, is the same for the short term and the long term. It's um, the best setup. If you look at the EU long term, there that's three nil. You know, that's 3-0, so I wouldn't even be considering taking the EU down unless we had a solid, solid uh, triple kiss system with momentum. You know, but then that that's my story. Okay, so if you look at the blue chart on the EU now, you see that white arrow up. That was a perfect MA uh, trade, MA kiss trade. And that, that basically is all I do. Uh, the, the, the blues, Azarius, the, the way I judge blues, I know Julian's similar. In fact, he's probably exactly the same as me in this respect. But he, blues alone, you know, are not good enough unless you've got a blue on, say, all four charts. But um, they're not good enough on their own. They need help. They're like an early warning system. Okay, um, the, the, they're telling you to get ready, it's going to reverse. And, and I'll be honest with you, they always do reverse. You know, you could have six blues though, that's the problem. You could have six blues going up and then all of a sudden it does reverse. <laughs> nice one, Mercy. <laughs> She's going to hunt me down, guys, isn't she? <laughs> Excuse me. Mansa. Yeah, where is he again? He keeps coming and going, doesn't he, that guy? Oh, by the way, is there any uh, City fans in the room? Do we get any City... Oh, Mercy, you're a City fan, aren't you? I remember rightly, yeah, yeah, United beat you last night, 2-0. <laughs> oh, New man Lukaku scored, and uh, Rashford. Let me have a look, I missed that one, KPM. So, yes, you don't take a reversal unless you have a... I think with you up on the one out of it. Um, no, I, 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 I take reversals, but the setup's got to be a strong setup. KPM, you know, like uh, like I said, the, I've noticed that these triple kiss systems are uh, really, really good reversal trades. Really good. I haven't, in fact, I've been trading them, and I haven't seen one lose yet. <laughs> uh, well, you're getting some red momentum on the DX, um, Rafa. What is worrying me is that the oil, you know, could drive it up. Unless you get really big DX momentum, you know. Well, there you go. It's going down now, so... Right, triple kiss. The first thing to look for, right, the first thing I've noticed with the triple kiss is they are usually, usually, always at the start of a big move or after a big move. You'll notice it goes quiet and you might get, like what you've got on the EU there now, do you see the, the white pink on the uh, blue chart right on the purple line? This is what you see. You see that first and then you'll get something on the five minute chart and then you might get something on the 15 minute, right? Um, they're all great lining them up, but what you need, you need momentum. Right? It's okay looking at them. I know Gigi jumps in 
is, is, is jumping in a bit early and I presume other people are doing it but what you, you have to wait for that momentum momentum is what moves you know it, it is the move in the market basically so the first place to look Benevento is um, on, on the two minute chart so let's say you've just had a huge move like we had yesterday on the UCAD um, then start looking when it goes quiet when it stops throwing momentum at you start looking on the two minute chart first or the blue chart I should say then you know you might get a signal on the five minute then you, you probably get a signal on the 15 minute and that and that's when you know you're probably in the move by then because you would have got momentum by then all right mate No, no, no. The way I look at uh, momentum, John, is um, like you're seeing now. You're seeing flashing all over. Right? Look what's happening. You know, you've got the DX flashing, the, U the UCAD's just flew down, flashing. EU's flashing, the GU's flashing. Look what's happening. The, the, the EU and GU are going up. The UCAD is flying down. The UJ's not flashed. And look what's happening. It's not moving. You understand so the more that flash the more that move that is the push watermelon you've been here a long time you really should know how momentum works that is the actual push when it flashes that's the push it's not, it's not, you know, um, if there's no flash, then there's no push. You understand? Look, look at the UCAD. It's flashing like crazy. And look at the move. It's flying down. Yes, Paul. Paul, um, uh, how have you got the um, link to the site, Paul? to the YouTube site Paul W has he got sound? have you got sound Paul W? can you hear me? right so you can hear me right that link there that everyone's put up there are videos on that site okay now there are some videos you need to watch that one right there are some videos you need to watch make sure you watch the momentum video and uh, then look at one called uh, trend and bias it's only a 15 minute video and then look at the five minute pinks strategy okay uh, do that over the weekend then it'll give you a much better idea of what you you know you what you're looking for Yeah, but you need momentum, Roman. You need momentum. You've got your triple, you've got blues involved, so you need momentum. That's what you're waiting for now. No rooms, no. You see, the thing with a one hour and a four hour, right, is that's a bias. So basically, you could have a one and four hour bias uh, going against the trend now when has that done what it was going to do when has that finished its move um, well if you can imagine two if you put your fists together and you push right with both right and you push with one constantly and you let the pressure off on the other the one pushing constantly right is the trend it's constantly you know, it's like gravity, it always wins, all right? So eventually, the one and four hour um, against the trend bias is going to have done its job, okay? And then the trend's going to continue, all right? So it's judging when it's done its job. And what tells you that? Five to 15 minute signals, all right? They'll tell you.
Okay, watermelon. I thought you knew about that watermelon. It's you know, it's uh, oh gravity, right? Yeah. <laughs> gravity always wins, mate. Yes, yeah, so John, I've not traded today yet. Well, apart from the long terms. Uh, it don't really matter, Raphael, you know, Fridays. I mean, I made enough yesterday. No, not just pinks, uh, Julian, but pinks uh, for me, ever since I dreamt about them, have been the most important signal in here. I'm pretty sure a few of you have probably dreamt about seeing pinks in your dreams as well, haven't you? <laughs> nice one, Kano. Yeah, and see dreams of tweaks. <laughs> I'm trying, they don't come. <laughs> Not drinking the right wine then, Hans. Well, I think your UCAD won there, um, Raphael. That's another thing with these, um, I, I, I wish to mention, and all guys um, on the triple kisses, right? Uh, you can see that the UCAD's a massive, massive downtrend, yeah? Um, so when you get a triple kiss, I mean, it's a 3-0 as well on the long term there, but when you get a triple kiss uh, in that direction, don't don't just look for three pips. Don't look for five pips. Take your TP off, right? I mean that's a, a five nil there, and you know that's huge. If you took your TP off there, I'm not sure what the move is because I can't really see it. But um, you know, and, and let's say you stacked once, so if, if that's a twenty pip move. You'd have made forty pips on one trade. On one trade, yeah, I made fifty on that. You see, so you know. I'd have made 100 there. <laughs> Four trades. <laughs> when do you get out? Um, I, I would, if momentum turns big on me, Raphael, I'd look then. Um, or if, you know, you start getting signals on the 5 and 15. Okay. Yeah, momentum, Raphael, or, you know, if it turns big, but if you notice on the 5 and 15, you've not really got anything going against you, it's all for you. If you get a 5-minute pink up, uh, and then, say, the 15-minute turns into a small red, then you might consider getting out. But this is, wow, well, yeah, it's really going, isn't it? Feels great, Julian. <laughs> Considering I used to take, what, 25k all my year? You know what I mean? Uh, momentum, Mike, momentum, you know, it's it's continued to stay red, um, there's no signal, I know you've got blues now, but they happen a lot, that happens a lot, you know, where you get blues on the 5 and 15, but if, if one of them turned pink, then I might consider, you know, getting out if the momentum on the UCAB turned green, then I would, you know, think, right, I'll get out, let it retrace back to the orange, uh, MA again, and once it gets near that, it starts flashing red momentum again. I'd go in again for a scalp. You see, so you've taken advantage of the big move, and you're looking to scalp it again. Just hang on, I missed a question there. 
when a pair is flying down do you, you just wait till it's over or could you jump in at some yeah you can jump in um, as I say there what if you look what's happened on the U card blue chart you've got the little green candles and then it flew down again yeah so I would just wait for those little green candles to go up a bit and then take it down once the momentum flash red again you understand that's golden road strategy it's, you know it's uh, like an MA kiss it just kisses the MA and then shoots back down with momentum uh, <clears throat> tough on that aim oh it depends it depends mate yeah, um, I, I, I prefer paint really Yeah, yeah, it, has, it is empty, yeah, and that's that's why, that 3-0. Huge, huge uptrend. It, but with that 3-0, you, you know, I, I've always said, right, that um, you, you're, you're in timing, your timing will become that good Roman, that you, you don't need to wait for momentum, you will be in before it because you know what's going to happen, you know, and, uh, and a lot of my trades are like that, BB's like that, but I'll tell you now, BB um, would, would take a trade down at the top of a, a green candle, she would take a trade up at the bottom of a red candle, right? because she's that confident it was going to win, you know, it's... Um, Actually, I think I did mention that to her, and that's, that's when it exploded with her. Nah, no, that's right, right, Roman, yeah. Nice, Raphael, brilliant. Oh, excuse me. she made herself mosh really she you know uh, that's another thing guys right I, I know it sounds a bit we've been a bit harsh in that but i always say that you have to find your own way your own style of trading what you're comfortable with obviously we need to teach the um new members the most basic um uh strategies right we need to teach them how momentum works we need to teach them how to find to work out trend or a bias um, and 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 BB feels bad and she shouldn't do she shouldn't do you know she's tried to help people and it's just that you know it's not for everyone that you know I mean for me it's you know I actually trade that way sometimes because I know what's going to happen you know, I don't trade any one way, my particular style is the MA KISS, but um, I do long terms, I do, you know, uh, better uh, price trading at the top of a candle or at the base of a candle, you know, but, you know, we can't, we can't have a go at uh, BB because she's found her own style, she's just trying to help people and, um, you know, as I say, it's not the room thing, you know. So let's get her back in. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> There's a prime example of what I was talking about, Roman. Look at the UCAD now. You've got the little green candle. Went back towards the road and then look what's happened. You know, the trend has taken over. This is the trend. This is just pushing without having to push. You know? Uh, and there's your triple kiss on the EU. And I think that one works as well. 
There you go, Amo. You see now uh, with pinks. Look how powerful that was with pinks. It didn't work the first time with the blue, but you got a couple of pinks like that, and and you know white pink on the uh, blue chart, it flew. <laughs> ben Vento missing them. <laughs> You gotta start looking at your phone, Ben Vento. Twitter isn't everything, you know. What's he done? What's he done, MT? I missed what. Oh, he's gonna quit, was you? You're gonna quit after you had fifty grand's worth of education off me. <laughs> Out of luck, Danielle. <laughs> no chance, Gigi. <laughs> Tell you what, you give me your address, right, and I'll send Mr. Soprano around with his violin case. With a hammer in it. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Right, you've got a triple kiss now. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> On the UJ, you're getting momentum, and it looks like that one's panning out as well. Uh, you uh, with momentum, but I need fresh signals, Ben Vento. Need fresh signals, five and fifteen minute because that fifteen minute setup there, blue pink is reversal. But when would I be looking for uh, new signals up? Well, look when it touches that orange line on the fifteen minute line on the fifteen minute chart, then start to look for up signals. Uh, the, um. The, the, the momentum bars, um, bottom really, bottom, but it doesn't matter when they're both, you know, singing in, you know, they're both in line and there's no, I have no problem with either. The bottom, because basically they were all we had at one point, so I'm yeah, more used to them, but I, it was actually me that asked MT to keep both. Yeah, it was Benny. Yeah, I, I, as I say, guys, especially where pinks are involved, I have not seen one fail yet. You could just, you know, stay in here all day and just trade those up and down. And as I say, you get at least two, at least two per pair per day. You got one on the UCAD now. Happy hour SM, happy hour. Uh, I get out, it depends if it's with the trend. Yeah, yeah, it's true MT, but then Vento, if it's with the trend, like that UCAD one going down a minute ago, uh, if you look now, you've got a 15 and a 5 minute, that's when I'd be considering getting out now, or I'd be out now, as it happens. You know, because you're getting the five and a fifteen minute signal. That that's it. The move down is done. Okay, especially when you start getting green momentum as well, and the DX is um, screaming nine or eight or whatever it is green. SM the happy hour is just a term we use um, because at this time of day, eleven o'clock ish, it's when the European markets close, and uh, traders tend to, especially on a Friday, they get rid of. 
if they don't like trades open over the weekend, you understand, but they don't like trades open overnight, so a lot of them close the, the trades or, you know, or they might enter trades or whatever, uh, and it causes uh, volatility. All right, so it's just a term we use that from quarter to 11 to about quarter past, we call it happy hour. Yeah, yeah, you can do MT. You want one off me? Okay, I'll, I'll just fire one for you, mate. Um. <coughs> right, Mosh, 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 I've got to be honest with you, I really don't know what you mean about the momentum in the Orange Road. Do you mean long terms? Do you mean what do I do? Uh, I'm not quite sure what your question actually meant, mate. The shooting of the candle, Jess. Uh, uh, again, I, I don't know what you mean, though. I don't... You mean if a candle's shooting down? Daryl, yeah, yeah, it's not, you can do them on Monday, it's just not the best day, they, they tend to go on the Tuesday, early hours Tuesday morning or, you know, but I'll, I'll, I'll look for something and tell you what to, um, to look out for, have you watched the long term video, Daryl? Right, okay then, so right, you know how to trade it, I'll, I'll give you a heads up on Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday-ish. Right, so what you're saying is, I knew, like the the, can, the candle was shooting down or up, or up I think it was, wasn't it? if I remember rightly. Um, right, so what do you mean, What what is your question now? Yeah, that's right, yeah, it does. It tells you there's momentum in the market because it kept going and going and going and going. And if you notice the base of that candle, there was little or no um, wick, which meant it hadn't gone down at all. Okay, so from the previous candle to that candle, all it had done was gone up. So that's telling you that, you know, there is momentum in the market to the upside. All right? It's just another way of reading momentum when you can't, when you haven't got the momentum boxes or we're not in the room. All right, mate. All right, well. What's what have you done, Hans? Nice, brilliant, Hans. Awesome, mate. You're winning every day now, aren't you? Yeah, KPM. Um, well, basically, look at the GU. Now, look at the GU long term. Daily down, you've got blue pink down on the four hour, and the last one hour is down. Right? Do you think I'm going to sit, you sit? Now, look at the blue chart. Do you see that pink arrow there pointing up? Do you think I took that trade up? Not a cat in hell's chance against that. Right? I waited for that to go back and touch the, the golden, the. Oh, uh, orange line and then took it down. That's my trade. There's no way I'd have taken that GU up. Even if it had a 5 and a 15 minute up, I'd have left that and waited because of the long term setup there. That's a 3 nil down. You know, you just, they don't come any better than that. And that's how I know which way to take the trades. Yeah, the, the crossing MAs, um, um, if, if, if my bias is right, Marky Mark, um, you know, if, if my bias is right, if I know, if the bias has changed and it was going from down to an up, and let's say the orange line crossed, 
the yellow line, then yeah, obviously. You look at it, it's changed then, hasn't it? You know, your bias has changed, obviously, from a down to an up. Um, <laughs> Mercy, what's going on is that the GBP is getting its backside kicked. That's why your trade's flying. Damn it, I wish I stayed in that. Nice, well done, Tori. Yeah, down the hey, yeah, watch it, Kano. You use the pound. American in New York, uh, Englishman in New York. You're an American in London. <laughs> Is the UJ a down again? Um, I'd just be careful of that. Um, yeah, I don't really know on the UJ. It looks what what I'd look for is a fifteen minute signal now, Mike. If you want to take the UJ down, but to be honest with you, I, I wouldn't even. Be, you see, I kind of look for the best setups, guys. And um, if one looks messy, it, it's off the table. I just ignore it. But, and the UJ looks messy. Look, look at the last, the five minute. Um, chart and it's just gone completely flat so that would be off off the uh, you know off the table for me I wouldn't trade that I'd move on to another pair one that like the GU that's flying or you know um, well the GU's best at the minute so I'd be trading the ass off that but again it's Friday and you take into account the time you know, with markets closing and that, and um, the fact that they know I want to go out for a pint tonight, so. <laughs> In a way, Jesse, yes, but it's more it's more a reversal setup, uh, blue pink. Okay, it, it it is a mem, but not in the true sense of the word. You know, a mem is. It, it, yeah, you could call it a mem, but I wouldn't look at a blue pink as a mem. Personally, I look at it as uh, a reversal sign, a reversal setup. So basically, what you would do now, Jesse, is you 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 got that, or you have that. It's flashing off and on anyway. Um, if you had that, you would look for the fifteen minute up signal, which you've got. You then need a five minute up signal for me to be interested in taking the UJ up. You understand? But as I say, the UJ is messy. It's off the table for me. Okay, well, mate. Uh, I constantly um, scan the daily, the four-hour, and the one-hour KPM because that's how you you get your bias. Okay, you've seen the GU was going up before. Look at it now. Look at it. It's changed. The bias has changed and it's it's flying down. You know, so I'm always and you'll notice in the room that I do say, you know, GU daily guys or GU four hour or EU or whatever. You know, and I, I like to keep you informed of that. Yes, it starts there. Yeah, it's the first thing I look at when I come in the room is the long terms there. See what I can get. People ask me straight away when I come in the room. Um, you know what am I? Um, you know what am I interested in? And I can't really say sometimes because you know there's nothing makes any sense on the four hour or the um, um, one hour or the daily. They don't make sense if they don't line up and they don't make sense. I think it's right, sense. it's um, just I, I, sorry, I've been interrupted. Uh, if they don't make sense, then I can't tell you. You know what I mean? And, and that's how I always judge it. It's the first thing I do is I look for a, for a decent setup. Yeah, well, that's the thing, Julian. You know, that daily, if, if the, the setup had stayed how it was, um, you would have had up and down with the GU. But it didn't. It changed. You know, the daily disappeared, which is said, right, the GU's going to go down then because you had a four-hour 
down um, red blue at the time I think it was and yeah they were a one hour down red so you know Um, yeah, I don't think, I'd, I, in fact, I wouldn't be trading now, apart from the GU, because that's the one that really looks as though it might go again, but, um, yeah, yeah, that was a gem, that was a triple, triple kiss there, they paid off, yeah, another one, you see, they, they, they just, you know, them, the reversals are a really, really good reversal, signal set that. Would I consider the UJ now with a 15 minute pink? Uh, I'd need momentum, I'd need big momentum. I know you've got, you know, a decent setup there now, but if you look what's happening on the uh, blue chart, uh, for me it's got to break that resistance level, it's got to push through that and generally at this time of day you don't know if it's going to do it. That's a good idea, Raphael. Honestly, they, 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 I, from what I've seen, they are gold. It's the new bit kind, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep, there you go. UJ's winning as well. And again, if you look at the one hour now, that's actually uh, gone super as well. It was a red pink and it, it, it's flashing yellow as well. That's like extra momentum. <laughs> I know, I know. It's it's uh, it's it's the universe, watermelon. It just it does. It just you talk about it, and it seems to happen, doesn't it? Hey, my pleasure, Julian. You know what I'm like, mate. I'll I'll help anybody out. <laughs> Boom. I think Todd, it's a bit late now, but it it's, it it could work. You know, you're just risking it. You should, if you're going to get in, then to get in a bit earlier. When it saying that, when it broke the you know the resistance, that could have been a good time to re-enter. <laughs> 